Hello friends, welcome to Chemicals. In this video, I am going to discuss one named reaction that is Stiglitz esterification. Okay, so if I write So if I write the name of the reaction, that is Stiglitz esterification. From the name, you can understand that uh, esterification reaction will be happened and ester bond will be formed. And we know to get ester, we generally use acid plus one alcohol, and we get ester. So this reaction we all know. What is the speciality of this Stiglitz uh, esterification? The speciality of this reaction is that as this alcohol we can choose any sterically hindered alcohol also we can choose. In that case we can get our ester. But if you take uh, any normal uh, Lewis acid or protic acid based esterification, in that case this alcohol can be converted into alkene because of some elimination byproduct can be found and in that case you cannot get your ester. So this is the speciality of this Stiglitz esterification. You can selectively get your ester using the catalyst or reagents that is DCC and DMAP. So what I am trying to point out that this reaction is very efficient to get any kind of ester. First, I will introduce what is DMAP and what is DCC. Then I will show the mechanism. Okay. DCC, if I write the structure, the structure of DCC. Is this one? So this is dicyclohexyl carbo. Diamine, the name of this and the full form of this is this one, and the DMAP is this in uh, dimethyl, and this uh, aniline kind of uh, substituent will be there. This dimethyl, uh, sorry, dimethyl amine. So, at the fourth position of this PMD. So this is called DMAP. Okay. So if we use these two starting material, uh, uh, these two DNA, that then we can get our product ester effectively or efficiently. Okay. Now I'll show the mechanism. First, I am taking the acid. So this is the core part of this DCC. Here I am writing R because both are same. What will happen? In first case, this nitrogen loan pair will abstract on proton. We will get This anion, and here we will get from this reaction, we will get this anion and this cation. In the next step, what will happen? In the next step, this anion will attach to this carbon center and this bond will be clean and this nitrogen center will be neutralized okay if i write the product or the intermediate 
that time the intermediate will be Sorry, in between one oxygen will be there. So this intermediate will keep. Now, if simply we have alcohol, that time this alcohol will add will attack to this carbonyl center and this whole part will go out and we will get after this uh, proton will be clear uh, after leaving of one uh, proton we can get our ester but the problem is that this step is very slow without any additive or catalyst and in that case as the this process is slow this esterification process so in that case what can take place side reaction can also take place so what will be the side reaction the side reaction will be some rearrangement will take place inside this intermediate so this will go here and this bond will attach to this carbonyl center so what we will get we can get this side product okay now let me write here double dash because there I have written already R so it will be double dash now it will be clear for you that these two are from this cyclohexide moiety and this R dash from this acid but to suppress this side reaction we have to introduce another reagent that can stop the side reaction and that role will be done by this demand first demand what demand we will do this demand here you can see resonance is present this nitrogen center will attack and this bond will go out and this whole moiety will go out so what we will get we will get this intermediate will get okay now this whole moiety is activated then this alcohol will come and it will attract to this carbon center and it will be in conjugation so this moiety this speed in moiety will get back its say, uh, aromaticity and it will give this demand back and again this demand can take place in another cycle and we will get our ester so if I write clearly that it will be more clear to you so we will get This is start 
from this to starting material. So here you can see this DMAP act as a nucleophilic catalyst. It can drive the reaction to the esterification site. Otherwise, you can get the side product. That time, the yield of the reaction will be low, and you will end up getting mixture of products. So that's why the role of DMAP is very efficient in this reaction. And I have shown that DCC how DCC can act. Here, the role of DCC is to activate this acid group, this uh, acid moiety. As here, no act. Uh, yeah. What I am trying to mean the activate, activate means here you can see the, here no living group is present and if this alcohol attacks so this OH cannot go as as it is. So we have to add something better living, uh, we have to add something that can make this OH to a better living group that time this alcohol will attack in a simple manner or in a easier manner. So the role of DCC is to activate this carboxylic acid and then this alcohol can attack to this carbonyl center. Okay, so that, that is the role of DCC and the role of DMAP. I have already told that to uh, drive the reaction to the esterification side. So this is the Stiglitz esterification reaction. Now in amino acid chemistry also, this DCC coupling is very famous. In that case, we get this amide bond and there instead of alcohol, amine attacks to this carbonyl center to give this amide bond. So this uh, DCC coupling or EDC coupling, EDC another uh, type of uh, comp uh, compound where the main Core is same, this NCN part, but the R groups are different. But that is that do that does the same role that uh, DCC does. Okay, so in this way you can get your ester or amide and whatever the uh, example they will give in exam or in question. So from there, you, if you use this kind of reagent system, so that time you can get your product. And if you have an idea. To how to get your product that time it will be more easier for you to get your product in uh, your product currently okay in your exam so with this I want to stop today's topic here and I think uh, mm. I have tried my best to explain this uh, stagelage extraification and in the next video I will um, I'll be discussing about Barton and decarboxylation reaction and there this GCC DMAP plays an important role that's why I have discussed this uh, esterification reaction so that time it will be easier for me and for you also to understand the mechanism in, uh, in detail and in simplified manner okay so I want to again thank all of you to be with us and if you fly uh, if you find this video helpful please press the like button and please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel okay with this thank you for watching.